welcome back to Planting of the Geeks and welcome back to Black Sail. So in this video, um, as a continuation of where we've left it off last time, where we built the ships. Today I'm going to be painting the ships. This will be for the Royal Navy. So this is what I'm basing the colour scheme on. I'm going to be using mainly contrast in Games Workshop paints. I think all of them are Games Workshop paints to be fair. Uh, and what I've done, I have undercoated the holes of the ships and the masts uh, already. Uh, so you see, I didn't bother with the bottom parts. I may be sticking them on some bases at some point in the future, so I didn't bother painting those. Um, I've done that in the contrast uh, wraith bone uh, spray because uh, it's just easiest. I like the way it, it sort of gives a nice finish uh, to apply. The next parts of the holes. So for the British ships, uh, in the book it basically gives you an overview of the kind of colours that each navy used. So I'm going to be trying to stick similar colours. However, it also does mention that each captain sort of had sort of carte blanche to sort of paint the ship how he wanted, but the Royal Navy sort of went for black and yellow holes. The exact colour was baby puke. I've got to have a baby puke paint. I do think one exists actually. Pretty sure. One exists. I think it's secret weapon, is it? No, oh, I can't remember to be honest. Uh, but um, yes, yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, painting the holes using contrasts mainly, then doing highlights in the layers from Games Workshop. So what we're going to be starting with uh, is this one here, Black Templar contrast. Uh, and what we're going to be doing is applying this to the hole on the ship. So we have a brig and we have a frigate here. And I'll start with the brig. I'll show you this side here. So uh, what we want to do is we want to apply this onto here. A little bit thick. Don't want it quite a thick. But we want a nice black colour. The reason for using contrast is just because I think it really stands out on these models. Uh, if you can see it on there. Still want to be pretty accurate. Doesn't matter if you don't. At the end of the day, we can tidy up using the layer paints. What I'm going to do, we're just going to go over that bit on there. And all along that. What I'm going to use just this line here. See, I went over a little bit, doesn't matter. Is to where the black's going to be. That'll be our first line of black on there. Make sure we're not missing any of the points. And then we'll sort of repeat this process. On the top, what we're trying to do is a bit much on there. What we're trying to do is cover the top parts of these gun ports, leaving that sort of square around it as best we can. If you miss, don't worry too much, we will be uh, coming back to that at the end. Right, that one out of that. Try and get it up to the. No, don't want to leave any gaps. The worst part is to leave gaps with contrasts. And then we have the steps though, that also needs to be in black. This takes a little bit of carefulness. Just want to paint that middle bit. So I'll let the contrast seep into the steps. If it does go over a little bit, don't worry too much. We'll get that at the end. And then a lot more. Try and get these top parts as well. But again, if it, like I keep saying, at the end we'll come back and tidy it all up using the layer paints and base paints. Get that on there as well. Like so. So you have this band down the middle, which is going to be yellow. And you do that bit on there. So we're going to do the tops. 
I'm going to paint this back bit black as well. There's not a lot going on on there. Oops. Knock all my stuff, it's fine. Like so. So I'm going to copy that onto the other side. I'm also going to paint this bit on the top here in black. Like that. I'm also going to paint the mast as well in black. So I'm going to do the, the crossbars and these bits coming out the back. These are all going to be done in black. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because you don't need to see me do that bit as well. And then we shall return once that's done. So we can see that the full hole done, still drying. It's going to take a little while just to dry that. And then we can see the, uh, the masts. I've painted them. There we go. Again, there's little bits I need to tidy up at the end. I'm also using blue tack to stick these in to uh, keep them upright while they dry. Just use anything that's like blue tack, that like so like plasticine maybe, or I don't know anything that's soft and you can stick it in for that cheese. I would recommend cheese though. No. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, we have the frigate. So again, we're going to paint the black parts on the frigate. Okay. So uh, again, we're going to start with this underside part of the hull. I'm just painting it straight out of the pot. I'm just not lamping it on though, like so many uh, Games Workshop promotional materials showed it going on. Just uh, get that on there. Do, do, do. Got the wood part of the bottom. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, and then we're going to have um, a line of yellow. And then we want to do this bit along the middle in black. And then have another line of yellow. So we we'll like two lines of yellow on this. Because it's like a bigger ship. So. To go on this one. Can get that onto that. Does it really matter if he goes on the cannons at this point? They're all going to be painted separately at the end. What I want to do is try and leave that. There's a nice white line at the moment. There we go. And again, we have a ladder coming down, so that needs to be done in black. And a section. Doesn't go all the way down. There's a little bit of a gap. And this bit here is done in white. Which is something we'll have to pay attention when we come to the yellow. We're going to be into water down a little bit. It does actually make it easier to run if the contrast is watered down a bit. But use a little bit of the colouring. You may find yourself having to actually layer it if it goes too grey. No, it's not too bad. 
it's hard to be super neat while I'm doing it on camera as well because it's at a weird angle from my face. So put that on there like that. So what we're looking for is trying to get this line nice and solid, fill those gaps in. And that's it. So I want to repeat that on the other side. And uh, yeah, and do the bit on the mast as well. And then we shall return and we'll also paint these masts up same way as they did with the smaller masts. You know, have some blue tack ready to stick them in. So I shall return in a moment. Okay, so now the black has dried, what you might want to do if you have gone over on any really obvious bits um, is now use wraith bone just to cover any of the parts that were going to be yellow. So any of those white parts along the sides, that back part. I've also painted the back piece uh, down in that black and then I just get a very quick dry brush of the wraith bone just to bring the windows back up because they're really dark. So if you do anything like that, again just use some wraith bone to bring it back to where it is. Okay, so the next colour we're going to actually put on these is going to be uh, Nasdrag Yellow, which is this one here. Give it a nice shake. And uh, again, straight out of the pot. I'm not going to water this down. But what I want to do is just literally cover this bit here. If you've got it that colour, it's too dark, so then just spread it out. section up. Make sure you spread. You can go over the black with this. There isn't that much difference on the black now the black's on. Just don't lamp it on everywhere. And that's about the consistency you want. So we're covering the sides. I'm going to do this little bit on the back. Do this bit here. And I'm going to do the mast section though. And then I'm going to come back and do the middle parts of these masts as well. Not the sail, just the mast. Uh, and I'll show you that once it's done. So we end up now is with your mast looking something like that. Just with a yellow straight on that. Just stick that in there while it dries. Again, it doesn't matter if you went over the black a little bit. The black absorbs that yellow quite well. And just to show you the sides of the vessel. There we go, a little bit of the back. And again, if you've got a little bit of black or a little bit of missing, bits that are a bit, a bit discoloured, parts that are slightly lighter, they're all darker than they should be, don't worry about any of that. Because when we come to the end, what we're going to do, we're just going to use a layer just to highlight that and tidy it up a little bit. So now, just need to do the same thing with the frigate. And we're just going to cover these top parts as well. Because the British have these like two toned yellow and black holes. Uh, so I'm just going to. In fact, I shouldn't have painted that a little bit. That's a mistake. So we make a mistake. Something like that. Rinse it with a little bit of water. And just dab it off. It'll look a little bit yellowy, and we'll just have to go for that. With some wraith bone, it's not a big issue though. So get it off there as quickly as possible. Most of that colour will come off. It leaves a very light yellow colour on there. That doesn't matter. We shall get that at the end. But what we want to do is just paint underneath that. There. Leaving that top part whitish. And it will be white when I'm done. But yeah, if you make mistakes, don't panic. As the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy says. Something dab it off. So there we go. Obviously we want to do the white line underneath. And as well, we also want to paint this bit at the back. Oh, this bit's going to be done in yellow. 
if you're painting an American ship, so far from what I've looked at, I haven't researched them too much, remember I've just looked in this book, uh, you'd be pretty much there, instead of doing the yellow you just do white instead, you won't be far off. I'm not sure about the internal gubbins, maybe I'll do an American ship in the future. If we just for now, and that bit up to that. I want to leave the unicorn in white. And I want to get this mass bit in yellow, and this bit here in yellow as well. So that's roughly what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint this bit obviously going up there as well. I'm going to paint the aft castle too, but it's also a little bit heavy, that's why it's very dark. I might water that down a little bit as I'm going. That's what I'm thinking on. Let's do it now. Just brush a little bit of that off. Just take some of my heaviness out. Again, if it dried too heavy, it's not going to matter in the end. I'm going to sort that out. But let's not make any massive puddles. I need loads of work to fix. Okay, so that's about where I want to be, I think. So, uh, let me do this side. I also paint the masts, the bigger masts, like these. No difference, they're just bigger. So then I'll be back once the yellow has dried. Okay guys, so that appears to have dried, which is good, because we need to, to make sure it's completely dried up to now. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to paint the insides of the railings uh, and the cannon, um, parts of the cannon around the back. I think they're like the mount, uh, I'm not sure what they're called. Or at least I do know, but the, the word is escaping me completely right now. So what I'm going to do for that, if I'm shaking up, is use Flash Terra's Red. Okay. Now what I'm going to do with that is make sure we don't get too much on the brush, because we don't want to really get this on the deck, because we will have to tidy up if we do. And we're actually just going to paint along the inside here. Like so. Just using a palette, not yourself, but it's much easier when I'm doing this on camera. because that doesn't really matter at all, they're going to be done in a much darker colour. Okay, so if you can see we've got that around the edge there. Now, I'm going to just do the backs of these cannons. Like that. And I did slip there. Doesn't matter. What we'll have to do before we do the next stage is just tidy up any of these little bits again with the wraith bone. Any little drops. Right, that one there I've just done. I've done another massive one. Yeah, I'm doing really well on camera here. Uh, but there we go. That's basically what we're doing. Uh, I will tidy those mistakes up again. Um, but let's uh, finish that off. Off camera. Then I might do a few less. And again, we're going to do exactly the same along here. I'm going to miss this bit out. 
We want the inside of that, back of that, and the cans on the top as well. So we'll come back with those done. Okay, now that bit has dried on the red, and we've tidied up a few of those little spodges. Next we're going to do is the planking on, on the main parts of the deck. Um, to do that, we're going to go with a light colour, because the British ships I've seen seem to have a light decking. I don't know how true that is, it's just from the few pictures that I've seen. So what we're going to use for that is Skeleton Horde. I need some more of that as well, isn't it? So we're just going to cover the deck in Skeleton Horde. We are not too bothered about where this goes. On them. Uh, we just don't really want to cover the red too much. Um, but we can glob that on there. You can see that on there. It's not really an issue. It's quite a light colour. We just want to spread that out. It doesn't really matter, we're getting them over the middle bits. They're going to be much darker when we're done anyway. So, same with the cannons. Want to make sure we're getting this uh, planking pattern shown. Turn that around a bit better. Like pretty much like that. What have we got? All the bits. Just make sure we're up to the edges and everything. Anyway, you think it's a bit light, just go over it again. Anyway, you think it's a bit dark, just separate some of that paint off. And that is literally what we want to do. Just move these masks. Dried now. Uh, I just need to do one more thing to the mask layer. On. If you know, just move them out of the way. Right. I'm going to do the same here. The only thing we really want to avoid is uh, doing that. <laughs> They pick it up. So we did get a little bit on those bolts and a little bit on the white bit, but again that's fine. A wraith bone before we do the final coating on those. Will be, I think that'll be the next thing we do actually, we'll do the white parts of the bolt. So I'm just going to cover these little bits in wraith bone just to get rid of what I've just done by mistake. So uh, there we go, so now we need to let those dry. Okay, so the next stage, uh, I'm going to do the white so we're going to apply the white to the sail parts um, the bits under here uh, obviously the sail under there we're also going to apply it to the lifeboats and these little side bolts as well for that we're going to be using Apocryphary White which will come off with a little bit of a grey tone on it which is fine uh, 
use too much that will be too much so what we want to do is keep using that same bit and actually working some of that paint off where we've globbed it on and onto the areas we want it on Side. A little bit on there. And a little bit on the other side. I also do the unicorn on this one, bit of a unique feature, the uh, unicorn. That he's doing in white as well. You could do any colour you want, really. Figureheads weren't always painted. I'll give that a covering as well. You can see it's got a greyish colour. That's fine. Get that tied up. Now we're going to just do the same on the uh, the mass as well. We're just going to I do a little bit of a whistle while I do it. Why not? It's just a little bit heavy, so I'll just move that around a bit until it's approximately there. One thing I always find with the pocket three white, you've really got to shake the. Uh, Puck three white up, otherwise it goes too grey. This one's nearly empty. So again, I think that's affected the level of greyness in there. I think it's like sediment from the bottom. There's a bit more of it. That's a little bit heavier there. So apply some water to that. Maybe just use a finger just to dab some of that off. Don't be afraid of using your fingers to dab off paint. As long as you go up and hold your finger on it, as long as you're using it as a brushing action, you won't leave any fingerprints on there. Right. So that's approximately what I want. I'll stick that back in now. When you're putting these in, trying to bend them out, just put them in very slowly. You can hold them about there above that top spar when you push them into things. When we put them into the ship layer, we'll be pushing them in right from the bottom. I don't want to break the mast because uh, they are very brittle. So uh, I'll go ahead and do the white parts on the other masts and on that front bit up there as well. And we shall be back once that's all dry. Okay, guys, for the next stage, um, I did say at the beginning I was using ongoing workshop paints. However, uh, after going through my collection, because this is kind of a work in progress as we're going, I found some of this, some the Halio Metal Colour Gun Metal. Okay, so what I want to use this on is the guns, uh, obviously on the deck, the port part, you know, where they're sticking through the portholes, and the grids and all the stuff, gubbins in the center, all the grates and everything that are down there, and obviously the anchors as well, they'll all get this on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to see what this looks like, uh, otherwise I'll go back to my original idea which was to mix up a dark gunmetal type colour but if this does it it would be silly not to use it so uh, I just need some metal not to, to put it on uh, it's very runny this is mainly used for um, airbrushes but I kind of like the thinness of it for painting so what I'm going to do is we're just going to Put it over a few of these guns, and you can see how it looks nice and dark. We like that. Uh, originally, what I was going to do was I was going to mix Iron Hand Steel with Black Templar, come up with a really dark metallic colour. The colour I mix is actually slightly darker than this. I'm painting on. Uh, 
So you could do that, you could use lead belcher and mix it with um, a bit of black templar as well if you didn't want to use this. But this spreads really nice. And by mixing it with uh, a contrast, it had a very similar uh, sort of spreads very well over, a con over the contrast base feel to it, if you will. But these Helio um, metallics are very nice. I actually forgot I had one that was this dark. It looks good actually, I like what I'm seeing. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I actually, yeah, this, I think this is where I'm going to go. I'm going to go over this way actually. I like how that's looking now. So I want to cover all these cannons. I want to cover the gun ports. So again, just painting them, same way. I'm also going to do these lanterns at the back on this. Uh, and obviously the anchors on the front. So I'll go ahead and do that off camera because you just watch me do exactly the same thing repeatedly. Which is a bit boring. And I'll be back once that's done. Okay, so a feature that's on the frigate and not on the brig are the windows at the back. You see that on the side. On the back part. Um, what I'm going to use for that is, you could use the Viadon or something like that. Uh, what I'm actually going to try is Technical Paint uh, Nighthawk Gloom. This is one of those paints that you, you do rub off. Um, so, just out of interest. This is a test. So, if I get it wrong, I don't like it. So be it. We should put that on there. And then we need to rub that off as best we can. Leaving the paint inside, hopefully I'll fill up the windows and we'll do the same on the back. Oh, can't really see that, sorry. It's just I'll break the front of the ship if I try and put it in front of the can. But if we drop that in there and give that a rub off. Kinda of looks like that. Looking okay actually. Give the window a slight blue appearance without being too dark. Yeah. Okay. So again, need to let that dry while well, the rest of the ship's still drying. There's plenty of stuff on there drying now. Uh, I think, probably wrong, I'll probably call it some else, but I think we're done with the contrast now. Uh, we've got the main colours onto the ships. So what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be tidying up some of the mess and giving a little bit of highlight to some areas using all their paints. But I don't want to highlight it too much. I quite like where the yellow is. Because um, it's like meant to be a baby vomit yellow. I don't want it to become like too bright. Uh, so the colour I'm going to be using is Zimizi Desert. But I don't want everything to be dry before I start. I also want to wash my hands because I'm absolutely covered in paint. This is a good time to take a little bit of a break for myself, let these guys dry completely, come back and uh, start with the Zamizi Desert going over any little bits on the yellow that I'm not happy with. So I should be back in a moment. Okay guys, so I think these have dried properly. So this is just a case of going over any areas. Which uh, I've got a lot of little bits of black dropped onto them by mistake. Uh, and you really don't like the look of either because it's too light or too dark, as far as you're concerned. You just have to play that one by ear. Anywhere that's just needs a little bit of tidying up. And I'm just watering this down slightly. I don't want to put big globules of this on. Uh, one of the places I want to have a look at is this handrail. Got a few splashes of other colours on it.
Uh, it's a little bit dark. And uh, tidy that bit up as well. Just in case you're going over, <clears throat> find any parts on the ships and the masts, like that. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a good one so before we continue, a quick look around. Um, and what I'll also do is, I don't see any really red parts that are on the interior that really need help. But if you do, I would suggest using um, corn red, wherever it's gone. <laughs> I do have it around here somewhere. I'll have to go and read that one out, but I'd use corn red. Uh, over the top of the flash terrace if you do any need to repair any of the red it actually looks okay from what I can see so I'll go ahead and do any red after I've found corn red and I will um, uh, finish what I'm doing with the yellow then I'll be back hey guys we're back I did find corn red just to prove it there it is I do need to use it because I missed a couple of the uh, and back parts here like a noob there we go right so that's that done next we will sort out the black bad and black so we'll be using bad and black base and again we're just going to go over any of the parts where we've missed or I've got smudged or anything else because uh, I didn't notice when I was doing one of these uh, it looks like my poor, poor uh, skills at painting have uh, missed off some of those bits. So I'm just going to get anything that needs just a little bit of tension like that. So I know. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll be doing the same with the white. For that I will be using white scar. So I'll be back to do that. Hey guys, so with the white again, uh, got a nice new white pot of white scar though. The other one was a bit manky. Uh, so, again, we just want to actually use this to highlight the edges a little bit because, again, with the apothecary, it's a good job of doing white, but it does need a little bit of an edge highlight. To be fair, in my opinion, I still think it uh, is a little bit too grey. So we're just trying to catch the edges of those sails, just to make it a little bit more obvious, just to they've got folds in them like that. Hopefully, you can see the difference on the two sides, though. I'm just going to go across and do that with those and I also want to do these lifeboats as well mainly what I want to do with these is just pick out the edges using the edge of the brush technique so I don't want too much on the brush uh, and just use the edge just to uh, pick that up well that's about those little Seats. So the light is sort of catching the edges of those as well. A bit like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with these little bits of cloth on the side as well, and I shall be back once that's done. And there we go. We've done all the highlights, uh, well, and repairs on the actual vessels. So. Uh, they're actually now ready for the mask to go back on. So before I do that, uh, we want that to all dry, and then what I'm going to do is uh, attach the mask, and then I can show you the ships with the mask on. So we'll be back in a moment for you anyway. I need to let this dry, and then I can put them on. And again, top two when you're putting the mask on, uh, you need to apply the pressure at the point that you put them on. This is this, this is at any point, even if you're just gluing them together at the beginning, make sure that they go in. But once you've got paint on them as well, yeah be harder to force them in and don't try and push them in from the top 
push them in for at least that and preferably at the bottom as well and do it slowly and you might need to clean out any of the paint you've got in these holes as well um, top tips anyway so we'll be back in a moment with the mass attached and there we go so yes I think they turned out okay first attempt to paint these guys first attempt to paint the Royal Navy turned out alright I think quite like them so uh, yeah that's basically how I'll paint the Royal Navy I think they've turned out okay there's a few little things that I've tried out that I quite like like the windows with the gloom um, night gloom gaunt gloom whatever it was I think it looks okay that and that the helio metal also looks good so in the next video what I'm going to do I'm going to be painting the French uh, ships uh, I think yes I think we'll do the French ships and then in the next the video after that we'll do the rigging and sails but for now, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, please put it in the comments. But uh, if you if you like the video and, so, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. That way we uh, we know you want us to keep making videos. Uh, anyway, guys, you take care and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye for now.